Okay, <laughs> guess what? Today is wash day. So if you're interested in seeing how I wash my hair while it's in a protective style, keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wet my roots with the spray bottle. I'm not gonna completely drench my hair if I don't have to. Most of my buildup is in the roots, so I really wanna focus on that for this video. After I wet my hair, I'm gonna go in with my shampoo and apply it to each section and massage it in. So it's just an apply and massage and just really giving it that deep clean and that TLC that my hair needs. And I just want to give you a closer look so you can see what I'm actually doing. I think the application is really important. You can use whatever shampoo that you want, but for me it's just easier when the formula is easier to work with and the tool is easy to work with. So after I've massaged my hair and just really gave it that clean, I'm going to take a cup and I'm going to pour water to rinse it out and I'm going to make sure that all of the shampoo is out of my hair because if you don't get all of the shampoo, then that can also give you buildup and this whole thing would be pointless. And again, I'm just focusing on the roots. Unless you've like been swimming in like chlorine or something, you just came from vacation, I don't really feel like it's necessary to wash your full hair and that might sound a little dirty, but it's like the roots are really important because that's what you're constantly moisturizing. And um, even the strands where your hair is is really important and that's getting cleaned in the process. But where it's just a synthetic hair, that's not a high priority for me, and that's just me personally. But if that doesn't work for you, then girl, knock yourself out. Wash your, <laughs> all your hair. You know, wash all your inches, girl. So as you can see, I'm just going through and drying my hair as much as I can right now. And I'm kind of like massaging some of the hairs to make sure that I got everything. So now I go in with a smaller wet rag and I just really go in there and kind of like scrub my hair. You know, like I'm getting in between the little braided parts at the roots that have some buildup. Then after that, I go in with a dye brush and I kind of just go through it to make sure all the buildup is completely out of my hair because I'm not gonna lie to you like with all the oils and the gel and the mousse that goes into your hair if you don't wash your hair often it can definitely build up so now I'm gonna take boiling hot water and I'm going to dip my ends of my hair in that and just kind of leave it in there for a little second I'm stirring a pot um, just so that it keeps the ends of my hair very sleek and very neat because after a while with knotless braids you'll notice that it starts to get like a little thick and not as skinny as it was in the beginning and that just means that you have to redip your hair and for my next step I'm just adding leave-in conditioner to my hair this is the moisture that I add right away just so that there's something on it before I go underneath the dryer and let my hair completely dry So now that I have moisturized my roots and my strands, I'm going to go underneath the dryer to allow my hair to completely dry and just finish up wash day. So 
So like I said, I'm just gonna let my hair dry. I have a hooded dryer, so I just sit underneath it like this. If you don't have one, then you could just use a blow dryer and take it to your hair. Um, excuse me, I got hungry, so I started eating some crunch berries. One of the best cereals, don't argue with me. I said what I said, period poop. Okay, now your girl is back on camera looking like something. Um, after my hair dried, I laid my edges just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Um, and I tied it down with a scarf just to keep my hair flat. Now I'm gonna continue moisturizing my hair. I'm adding an oil or treatment balm by Girl in Here. And then I'm adding mousse and that is it for me moisturizing my knotless braids. So this is it. This is pretty much how I wash my braids. Went into the protective style, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who could benefit, as always, just go ahead and share it with them. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.